Um, my name is Ricky Bryant. Um, call me Ricky B. You're probably wondering why, why should I help? You know, these ex-offenders and prisoners, they can, you know, the lowest in society, all that kind of stuff. But what person do you know that never made a mistake in their life? Only Jesus, I know. <laughs> so people make mistakes, but people can change. Here's my resume for change. I've been out about four years now. Uh, I came out uh, and entered a group called National Homecomers. We wanted to get out there and say, okay, you are talking about it, let's be about it. You know what I'm saying? We want to go out and do something. We want to go out and, and make something happen for ourselves. So we did. I have a uh, behavior modification program right now. I'm trying to get off the ground to try to help these youth uh, uh, get a better understanding. I, I project youth or youth that's in a more poor state than you know a lot of people. Our poor runs the justice system. Simple as that. They, they, they're either going to hustle or they're going to turn their head in some kind of fast way. And that fast way ends up in a conservation, unfortunately. And, of course, if they get busted, the police has this notch on the belt, and the prosecutor has this notch, the public defender has this notch, the judge has this notch, the correctional officer has this notch. It's one person getting busted. Because he's taught in, through commercialism that you have to be a certain kind of way to have this nice looking chick. You know, this, you know, a nice car, something I had to have such a fashion statement, I had to have, you know, a Gucci on or something like that, you know, to, to, you know, to be accepted. And what I do, I go out there and I try to educate them that it's not that you, you might eat beans for a while, but if you stick with that education, you got to eat steak someday. This is the one where I do, we're doing an outreach or out here for the youth in the community. This was before I left. Lewisburg Penitentiary. They want to interview me about Obama getting elected, a prisoner? Are you kidding me? <laughs> you know, what does that have to do, you know, with prison reform? A black person getting elected. What are you saying to me? You know, I mean, why do you want a Washington Post? Of all people, I mean, you're talking about a prestigious paper here. You know, want to enter an interview of a prisoner about a president. You know, so what it's saying to me is this. It's saying to me that that we matter. You know, as human beings, we matter. And we gotta look at it in that fashion that, you know, no matter what mistake you make in life, you do matter. And people matter. I mean, what do you want to come back out of prison? You know, bitter and, and angry people that go right back in prison, committing more and more crimes, or do you want to educate them? you know, and make them productive citizens, citizens and to make something happen for America. This is what we're fighting for you. Hey, I'm an open book. <laughs> Have a great day.